welcome to this lecture so this lecture is based on the time translation and uh, conservation of energy this time translation and conservation of energy so in our lecture we have defined the time evolution operator sorry for uh, some disturbance okay so let me start again so in earlier lectures we have defined time evolution operator operator and found that it is unitary operator operator and is defined as u delta t is equal to i plus iota minus h over h cross delta t now let us find commutator of commutator of h and or u and h and this will this commutator will help us to uh, prove the conservation of energy so consider the commutator and this can be written as u delta t h minus h delta t and let us substitute its value from here so it is equal to i plus iota minus h over h cross delta t h minus h i plus iota minus h over h cross delta t and this after simplification will become i h minus iota over h cross delta t h h minus h i plus iota over h cross delta t h h and this two terms will cancel out because both are equal and opposite and this is equal to h and this is also equal to h so that means these will also cancel out so that means overall this commutator will become equal to 0 right so commutator will become equal to 0 so that means if by sum up this result then this can be written as the commutator of u delta t with hamiltonian is equal to 0 and thus hamiltonian commute with time evolution operator that is generator of time translation this means that that h is invariant
under translation, under time translation. So as H is or the Hamiltonian is invariant under time translation, which means energy is conserved energy is conserved and this is similar to to the result that that symmetry of homogeneity of time leads to conservation of energy. Conservation of energy. So that's all for uh, the conservation of energy. And in the next lecture, I will talk about space translation and conservation of linear momentum. 